And now the 22 News Storm Team forecast. Here's a look at our Springfield Live camera. Seeing a bit of cloud cover this morning at right around 6.13 a.m. And we're going to be seeing this cloud cover increase as we go into the afternoon. Similar view on our Chicopee Live camera. We see all that snow on the ground from what we had yesterday. That snow is not returning for this weekend, but we could expect it going into next week. The National Weather Service has issued a wind chill advisory for 10 p.m. tonight going into 10 a.m. Sunday morning with wind chills up to or I should say as low as negative 15 degrees. This is mostly going to affect Berkshire County, but could also affect western parts of Hamden, Hampshire and Franklin County. So if you are going to be outside in the overnight or tomorrow morning, you should bundle up because at as little as 30 minutes in this weather could result in frostbite. So if you are going to go outside, just bundle up and make sure you're as warm as possible. Our 22 new storm team forecast focus showing us cold and breezy conditions today. We're not seeing highs past the high teens, low 20s, and, th and those temperatures are going to stick around for the weekend. But our long range forecast chance of a wintry mix starting on Tuesday evening going into Wednesday during the day and the rain doesn't stop for the rest of the week. Wind chill now we're sitting pretty cold in Westfield and Northampton, negative three, negative eight wind chill in Greenfield. Springfield at a nice zero. Look how lovely that zero looks. It's a lot warmer than Berkshire County, negative 15 in Pittsfield and negative eight in North Adams. Our 22 new storm team ESP live Doppler radar showing us no rain or snow. Now we're not expecting any for the rest of the day and we'll show you why on our clouds and radar. Just seeing a lot of cloud cover moving through the northeast this morning. That cloud trend is going to continue throughout the day, but it does start to clear up once we end the weekend. Temperatures now mainly in the high single digits, low tens. We're seeing 11 in South Hadley, 10 in Palmer, and nine in Aguam, Berkshire County, mainly seeing single digits, three in Stockbridge, and two in Lanesboro. Temperatures throughout the day, not getting much warmer than they are now. I guess you could say 18 is a lot warmer than two, but we are only seeing those high teens mainly in the beginning to middle of the afternoon. But once we go into the overnight, we could dip down back into the single digits. Our 22 new storm team skycast is showing us 7 a.m. this morning going into the afternoon, 12 p.m. Saturday afternoon. We're seeing that cloud cover stick around throughout the day, but not very eventful. Now we do have those flurries that pop up on the radar, but that is just because of all that cold air that we're seeing. I doubt we will be seeing flurries in many places in Western Massachusetts today, but around 8 p.m. this evening, we are still seeing a lot of that cloud cover. We start to see a bit of a clearing going into the overnight. 12 a.m. Sunday morning, we start to see some places like Franklin County are going to be clearing up and then going into tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. Sunday morning, not going to be getting much cloud cover left. And it's going to be a pretty sunny day on Sunday. 12 p.m. Sunday, we're seeing not a lot of cloud cover and it's going to be needed. You're going to want to soak up that sun if you're outside at all. We aren't going to be breaking 28 degrees, mainly sticking in the high 20s to mid 20s. But going throughout the day on Sunday, it's pretty uneventful, which is a good thing. But we could see windy conditions. Wind gusts could be as high as 25 miles an hour. And combined with those cold temperatures, it's not going to feel like the warmest day. 6 a.m. Monday morning, we do see that cloud cover start to come back in inklings, but not going to result in much rain or snow, if any. Today, we're seeing cloud and cloudy and cold conditions with temperatures in the mid-teens to the low 20s. And tonight's forecast is going to be a chilly one. 6 to 12 is our range of lows, gradual clearing with those breezy conditions going into the overnight. And our 22 new storm team seven day forecast showing us we do have cold and windy conditions for this weekend. A nice day on Monday, but we see this warming trend going throughout the middle of the week. And as it starts to warm up, we see that wintry mix come around Tuesday and Wednesday, rain following shortly after. A high of 18 today is definitely going to make for some cold temperatures outside and it's going to feel even colder with that wind. Speaking of wind, it's going to get a lot more windy tomorrow with those higher wind gusts and a high of 26. One nice day this week. 36 is the high for Monday. A nice sunny day, but Tuesday we're seeing that PM mix. Going to start off as snow, end up in rain, but then we could see snow again going through the day on Wednesday. We're going to see temperatures by the end of this week go up to the mid to high 40s, and that snow is going to turn into rain once we go through Thursday and Friday. Low temperatures this week start off in the single digits are going to end in the low 30s. And if you want to stay up to date with all of our latest forecasts, you can check out our website, wwlp.com, or download the free 22 News mobile app.